so here we are now with the Jabatta BMS in the AO lithium battery. This is the state of charge we have for all these single cells now. It is all over the place. Um, well, this is... Well, I caused this. When we did the full capacity test of each individual cell, they all got charged and then discharged. And I measured the capacity in both ways. And then they were all discharged, so basically bottom balanced when I put the pack back together. And now we are charging the whole pack up again. And of course, there is a huge deviation at the top now. The pack was much better balanced when I got it. Have a look here. And we now can see 3.61 volts cell number one and cell number two shortly behind it. Cell number three is a bit behind and cell number four is the last. Wasn't cell number four the one with the highest internal resistance? We also remember number one and number two are welded together. Number three and number four are welded together as well. So I'm not sure why they are so far apart from each other. Number one and two are very close. This is only one millivolt, if at all. But three and four, the other pair, is a bit far apart. And we have almost 100 millivolt deviation now at, um, well, 3.6 volts, roughly 14.3 pack voltage. Still charging with 11 amps. This is a bit disappointing, I must actually say. I was expecting the batteries to be perfectly top balanced already, which is not the case. I mean, it's not, it's not a super big deal breaker because the BMS will do the job over time anyway. It will balance the whole pack. So, and as you know, the standard settings for the Jabata BMS in the AO lithium battery is 3.4 volts of turn on voltage. This is our balanced start voltage. We also need to be over 15 millivolt of deviation and we have 130. So both criteria are being met, but look at this, there's no balancing. Function settings. You can see balance is turned on and also charge balance is turned on, right? So it is not charging at the moment. I have turned the solar charge controller off and also the power supply. It is not charging and not balancing. <laughs> yeah, does this ring any bells with you as well? I just got this deja vu. Exactly. The Dali BMS did exactly the same. It only balanced while the app has shown a charging current. Okay, here, here we go. I turn on the charger again. Charging current 1.9 amps, and we can see cell number one is getting balanced. But only number one, not number two, not number four, only number one. Why is that? I have no idea. It balances only one cell. So to match all these four cells together again now, can you imagine how long this will take? You always have to charge the battery over 3.4 volts all the time before the balancer kicks in. And then it takes away 50 or 60 milliamps only per cell it is balancing. So instead of charging with one amp, it only charges this red cell with um, 940 milliamps. So 0 0.94 amps. It takes 60 milliamps off while all the other cells get charged with one amp. There's a serious connection. So the cell with the highest voltage gets charged a tiny, a tiny, can you see through here? A tiny amount less than all the other cells. And then when the charging current drops under 0 0.4 or something, balancing stops altogether. So the pack will never balance itself. There, there's no chance. Or maybe if you do a hundred cycles or something, you may see a bit of a result. Well, as I said, the balancing was not as bad as it is now here because we, we tested the individual cells, but there was also an imbalance. And it would have taken a long time, a lot of charges and discharges to actually balance this pack out. And I don't know why AO Lithium is not top balancing these battery cells before they put them in the case. 
they should be 100% top balanced, right? So the BMS has actually a chance to shave off these 50, 60 milliamps every time you charge and keep them in balance. But with a higher imbalance in the cells, and when you imagine the cells are getting older or you have very high discharge and charge currents, the drift will get worse. And there we go, we are going under the threshold. Yeah, zero. But we are still charging with 430 milliamps. But the app is not showing anything anymore and therefore no balancing is happening anymore. So this is under the threshold of the internal shunt of the BMS. And balancing only occurs if the shunt actually measures a current. So there will be no balancing anymore. I can leave, I can leave the power supply on 14 volts here, but it will not balance at all. Until I go in the settings and turn off charge balance, right? I turn off charge balance and we go back in the app and it balances now. Even if I turn off the charger altogether, there's zero amps flowing, nothing, it's still balancing. And this is exactly what you want. This is how you can automatically balance your whole battery pack, regardless if it's an AO lithium battery or a self-made battery out of 16 or 32 cells, it doesn't matter. As long as the BMS is balancing even without a charge current applied to it, it will balance itself. See, it is slowly discharging this cell now and the deviation, the difference between all the cells will drop. 147, 146 now, you will see this slowly going down now. And if we would leave this one here running until tomorrow morning, we will have a very small amount of difference in voltage across all the cells and the pack is balanced. You can also leave your charger turned on and it supplies power to the whole pack. And the whole pack should actually balance to 14 volts then. All the cells should have 14 divided 3.5, it is 3.5. So all the cells should have 3.5 volts tomorrow morning. Because what happens now is We've got two cells under 3.5 and two cells above 3.5. So these two, one and number two, needs to be discharged while number three and number four needs to be charged. And this is what the charger is doing, actually. It's still pushing little amounts of current into the pack. And while it is discharging these two cells here at the top, the overall voltage lowers, but the power supply will keep it on 14 volts lowers these two cells and rises these two voltages here of the bottom of number three and number four. So let's do the experiment, 14 volts, and leave it running until tomorrow morning. We've got 152 millivolt deviation here to start with and see what is happening until tomorrow morning. And this is how a balancer should work. It should always balance when you charge when you don't charge, when you rest the battery, or when you discharge the battery. It should always balance, always. If the balance start voltage has been reached and if the deviation, the voltage difference threshold has been reached. These two criteria, always. But then it should start balancing. I don't know, this charge balance, this may come from older chemistry situation, batteries, whatever they had in the 1600s or something. I don't know. But this is not how a balancer should work these days. Okay, I wish you a good night's sleep and we see us again tomorrow. 152 it is. The next day. So we have now the next day. I left the battery connected to the power supply. It's still taking about 35 milliamps and balancing, but the deviation is now only 22 millivolts. And, um, well, under 15 millivolt deviation, it will stop anyway balancing. But you can see they all came together quite nicely without me doing anything. You just have to set like 14 volts in the power supply and let the balancer run. Even the 60, 50, 50 or 60 milliamps here is enough for the battery to balance perfectly. So we leave it 
for a couple of more hours here and see what we actually get. Yeah, well, so the BMS um, stopped balancing actually because we have reached a 15 millivolt set deviation voltage difference in the in the settings, and I've changed this now to one millivolt. And um, well, we are at five now. Four, I can see sometimes. And look at this, how beautiful it has balanced this battery pack. So this is at 3.5 volts, 14 volt system voltage. What you can do now is increase the voltage to 14.2, which is 3.55, and then see what the deviation is. Okay, let's do that. And we now have to change the parameter for the balancing turn on voltage to 3.55 as well. Otherwise, it would constantly balance, but it should only balance the cells which are higher. Uh, balance turn on voltage, here it is 3.55. Safe. Okay, as we can see, balancing has now stopped. And if one cell goes over 3.55, it will start the balancing again. And this is a very, very nice and convenient method to top balance your battery pack. If you start with 3.5 and then wait until everything is at 3.5, like in here, and then you slowly increase the voltage, 3.55, 3.6, and if you want 3.65, but 3.6 is totally fine. So this works well with the Jabata BMS in the Aeolithium battery, but you need to change the parameter for that to actually work because the parameter sits on charge balance only and it only balances while we are charging. And I have limited the current of the power supply to 350 milliamps or something which is just under the threshold sometimes you can see the 0.4 popping up so if the setting sits on charge balance it will not balance your battery pack like this you need to constantly charge discharge charge discharge cycle the whole battery because only while charging it actually balances which is totally stupid in my opinion this is so much better now because you can conveniently top balance your battery without you doing anything. So we are now at 3.6421. Yeah, we've got one or two millivolt deviation now only. And well, top balancing has perfectly worked with the charge balance function turned off in the Jabata BMS in the Aeolithium battery. Why does the BMS has only a charge balance button, you know? It only balances while charging or it only balances while not charging, but it doesn't do both. This does not make sense to me at all because as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So here yeah, guys, I guess so far the testing with the AO lithium battery and the Jabatta BMS, the JBD BMS inside. This is what I found. So the balancing works actually quite well, even with these 50 milliamp only and these 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. It balances perfectly, but you need to activate this setting manually. So you need to download the Xiaoxiang app on your mobile phone and change this parameter, at least this one parameter, to make the BMS work for you. And I know a lot of you guys have the JBD BMS, and I would be very interested to hear from you if this is something you have noticed as well, that the BMS actually doesn't balance if the charge count is very small under the threshold of your shunt. Because so far all the other BMSs, except DALI, have had this function and balanced your batteries regardless if charging, resting, discharging, if these two criteria, voltage and voltage difference, have been met. And I have used the QUCC BMS a hundred million times to top balance my battery like this. I set the power supply to 56 volts or something and let it only balance overnight with the QUCC BMS in balance mode and it was perfectly top balanced the next morning. And the JK BMS does it even better with its active balancing. So there still seems to be some BMSs out there with legacy software which, which don't support such kind of balancing. 
Yeah, guys, so far we can close now the testing of the AO lithium battery. I, I will keep using this battery here for my experiments and charging from solar and everything and use the energy inside the garage here, of course, then to lower my overall consumption. Well, I got a bit sidetracked with this automatic top balancing, which I wanted to show you for a long time. This is what I do. And this is potentially something you can do as well, unless you've got a DALI BMS, slowly increasing the voltage of your battery and let the BMS balance for you. So you don't need to parallel all your cells anymore or charge them individually to the same state of charge before you put them together as a battery. You can use your BMS doing exactly that. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel, all your generous donations. And until the next video, guys, stay charged and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching again. See you then. Bye bye. It may show up in a video here and there. It's a good battery.